Hi there. Welcome to Double Talk. I'm Michael Mandel. And Hello. with me is... I'm Kathleen Albers. She is the executive director for... Do we have that down there? Executive director for the uh, Doniana Arts Council. Correct. Which is where I know her from, unless... You know, we, we did have a stint in an art gallery where we... Yes. Really, yes. That was so much fun. That was, that was How fun. many years ago that was That was a that? long time ago. So we, we've known each other for a long time. A long time. And, uh, and uh, she's also the uh, executive director for the Rio Grande Theater. And we're going to discuss that after we do our obligatory or tasting, and we're going to do some weird things uh, today. Uh, we're going to start with, uh, this is Saint Germain, which is an elderflower liqueur. Elderflower liqueur. Elder, not elderberry, mm. because that would be too, whatever. Elderflower is delicate. Um, it's 40% alcohol. Oh. No, not 40%. Yeah, 40% alcohol, which makes well, it 80 proof. Well, thank God it's Saturday and I don't have to... Thank work. goodness it's Saturday morning, <laughs> which is when you're supposed to be drinking. So that's what it... Well, you see what it looks like? Yep. By itself. Okay, here we go. It smells great, doesn't it? I mean, it's got this oh, great... Oh, it's got, it's got the flavor of the flower. It almost like, feels like a, a, a Monet landscape. Wow, it's sweet. Sweet, sweet a little but, herbal, but you have... Like billowing the clouds really of, nice. of floral stuff. Mm. The the bottle itself is that's Kathleen. The the bottle itself is an Art Deco, Art Nouveau shape. Remember Saint Art Germain. Nouveau? Yes, absolutely. Art so Nouveau. it's sort of from the time of you know the impressionists. Give you that impression. Mm. Well. Mm. Willing to willing to knock this off and go to the this canton. Is, this is you do this with all your guest hosts. You loose you loosen their lips. We try to loosen the lips. We, right. we will take a little tasting. <laughs> uh, I was first introduced to this next one because I was drinking this and the guy said, "Well, this is made by the same company. This is Canton and it is a ginger drink." Mm, we'll I just have we'll just have it just. Am finish that up, finish this? that up, and oh, we'll do goodness. this. Oh, goodness. Uh, second half of the show, we are going to try this against uh, this one. So, because oh, these are, mm. you want me to knock that's that really, off? Really we'll, nice. we'll throw that in his glass here. Oh, no, no, I finished it. I, oh, good. Yeah. Okay, this, this is going to be so different. And okay. That's why I'm giving you just a little. All right. Because we have to stay sober through the show. I, I really like this job. How do I apply? For, how did you get you this got job, it. Michael? This is uh, fantastic. Well, I buried Jeez. Mark's body. Oh, goodness. And uh, that's why you're here. I... Oh gosh. So, did you, did you smell this? Not yet. I was okay. going to wait. We're gonna this is Canton. Oh, same same amount of alcohol. Okay. Perhaps the same company. Okay, this is Canton Ginger. Ooh. Oh. See, usually I. Mm. Wow. Oh my goodness, oh my. that's stronger. Yes. That's stronger. Well, it tastes stronger because ginger yeah. is strong. Did you ever go to uh, Aqua Reef? Yes. And did you ever have that? Those four cream brulees at the end, they oh, give you a green yeah. tea and a ginger and a regular and one other yeah. thing. I can't remember, yeah, but yes. You cannot, mm -hmm. if you have the ginger one first, uh, you taste your taste buds die. Yeah. So this is why, you know, oh, we did this This would this be way. lovely uh, just for after dinner. I, a lot of times I'll drink ginger tea Whoa. or, you know. And the other thing is, have you ever tried ginger beer? I'm yes, really I have. Really good, yeah. We did ginger beer. Two shows ago, we were doing rum. We mixed it with ginger beer, Whoa. rum and ginger beer, and a little bit of lime. It turned out to be a, a good, a good uh, recipe. And uh, we were just tasting rums, and I thought, oh, rums are so sweet. This would be the perfect dessert. Just boy, a you are finding things. Huh? I, yeah, this would be just, just, just enough. Just a little word to the wise. Yes. So it's good. So you're here for two reasons. You're the uh, my co-host, but you're also my guest. Okay. And you're a guest because you are the head of the uh, organization that is doing the Las Cruces Arts Fair I sure this am. coming week. Yes. What's it that is deal? Be next, it's going to be the uh, 18th, 19th, and 20th. And um, oh, there's the pr there's the proof of the program. That's a. Is um, this the actual program? Yes. Oh, I haven't a, seen it yet. This is the final yet. proof. So I have to see if um, all the people I know are in there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I hope. It is going to. We're going to kick off the the uh, event on Friday night with. From five at from five o'clock to eight o'clock, uh, and it's going to be, we're going to have music by uh, a group from uh, the Juarez Chihuahua area. Uh -huh. uh, the name of their group is called Uterpe, 
and they're flamenco guitarists. They're fantastic. E U T E R P E. E R P E. Yeah, it's a Greek. It's a Greek name, and they do a they uh, they do flamenco guitar, and then one gentleman plays the. Um, I actually think it's called a box. The, the, box, the, the wood box. Yeah, the wood box. And they're just fantastic musicians. They were at the fair last year, and people love them. So we're bringing so them back for their good. kickoff on Friday night. And at that point, there's going to be an open bar. Well, a bar. A it's going to be yeah. Bar. The cantina will be yes. there, and you can get um, drinks. You can get soda. You can get. Uh, you can get you can, canton. They're going to have food there. Um, it'll be really, really nice. And you can, if you come on Friday, you get your ticket punched, and you can come back in. Any either Saturday, Saturday or Sunday. Sunday. So and it, look it, at the stuff. Right. So Friday night can be just uh, looking around and getting a, a feel for the artists that are there. Over a hundred artists wow. from the region. Ooh, you can and start showing some of that art, I oh, guess. Oh, okay. Kick one in. Got one. Kick well, one in. We can, Kick yes. one in. Yes. So there'll be lots of art. Oh, here's one. This is a sample by Hector Gallegos. Oh, Ooh, look, she it knows just, it. It just left. Come on. Um, leave it up there. Leave it up oops, there. Bring that. Bring back that porcelain vase. <laughs> Hector Gallegos. Hector Gallegos is uh, from Mato Ortiz, Mexico. He's fantastic. He and his wife, uh, her name is Laura Bugarini. And they have won all kinds of awards in Mexico for this beautiful uh, revival pottery. Um, and well, everybody's so, familiar with the Mato Ortiz yes, pottery, Yes, and right? so they've won many awards. This Ooh. next one is... Oh, this is just moving along. Yeah. Can you uh, tell? This, this is... Um, Tweezer? Uh, Terza. Terza? Uh, this is inlay jewelry. This gentleman has been with us for several years. Uh, this is the sixth annual event, and this guy's been with us about five. Wow. Just gorgeous stuff. As you can see, this, uh, this sample here. So, you um, know, most people look at art get fairs as yeah. stuff for your walls, or in this case, this next well, thing in your house or something, but yeah. it's also for your body. It's well, so. yeah, absolutely. The jewelry, so jewelry. and we're going to see something fabric in a second. This is a sample right here of Kathy Stark's work. Can you blow that up? Can you make that bigger? Kathy Stark, there you go. Oh, there you go. See, so much crazier, Kathy, man. Yeah, Kathy Stark makes these beautiful works of art from gourds, and she then she burns the images into the gourds. Um, uh, with Is that a, feathers on top? Yes, and she collects all this indigenous. Um, uh, these it's just like a, items and puts the beads on them. It's like a totem. And this is one of our, actually this guy is James Soodle. His work is on the cover of our of our program. His name is James Soodle. Uh, he's Native American. Close and, that. Um, close it down there. Close that to Little so we could talk. And, there uh, we go. Oh, there we go. And so James's work is also on the cover of our of the program. Uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous uh, work. He's um, well. That picture is sort of what people think of, you know, native art. Right. Also of kiss and. Uh, I know it does, but okay. And this one. Um, that's, that's the. A, that's a that's, black and white photograph. Yes. yes that's yes. the. Which one is that? This is, this is uh, uh, Ken, Ken Schaefer. Schaefer. And just another sample. There's a hundred artists with a, a, a six it's different hard categories. Choosing. Yes, and it each is. person has but so many they're, things. But they're they're also different. And and this is a, a piece of jewelry. And I well, believe. What is that jewelry? Um, let me see. Who is this with? with uh, ben, Silversmith. Is that? Uh, yeah, I think that's him. Yes, Ben Hoffacker. And um, again, it's just a different kind of jewelry than the other one we showed before, wide range. Don't you uh -huh. find that when you're walking, you know, it's, it's overwhelming because everybody's, if you've been to the convention center and seen lots of things, it's overwhelming, but then you start to focus in on what you, what you like. Really like. Yeah. And then you can choose, uh, for, you don't have to buy, they want you to. But, yeah, you uh, can just look. This right here is a sample of these people, they take, um, Old kimonos, and a lot of them, they're 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 actually antiques, and then they salvage them because some of them have been damaged. Oh. They salvage them and piece them back together in these beautiful uh, works of art. I should have worn. I, I bought one two years ago, Already? and I just <laughs> love it. And you can and go, don't shoot. You can, yeah, you can yeah, go, don't, don't shoot. shoot, don't shoot, yes. um, don't shoot my piece of art. Yeah. Um, and they're just beautiful. Um, the one that I have has a piece of a of a scene. Uh, kimono that has a uh, scene of the is Portuguese it? coming into the Japanese harbor. It is just wow. gorgeous. I'll have to bring it. That's a weird. Invite yeah. me back and I'll wear it next yeah. time. I'll okay. show you. It's, it, yeah, it's really beautiful. Um, that sounds great. Yeah. You sell so, it? Mm -hmm. Will you sell it to us? No, yeah. we'll not okay. sell it. It's one of my yeah, favorite, that's good. favorite, th favorite things. Yeah. Do we, what else do we have? I think that's it. That's it? That's it for the art. That's good. But um, over a hundred artists. Uh, the other artists, I wish I'd had a picture. I recruited an artist from San Miguel de Allende, but he's oh, coming. Really? Yeah, his name is Arturo Buenrusto. Oh, yeah, and yeah. He, is um, he, he is in here. 
he makes purses out of bottle top pops and he and it's wow. just they're it's so unique and so well made they're beautiful and so and I, re, I was, we were my husband and I were down in San Miguel de Allende in December and I was going through the art market there mm -hmm. and I bought a purse and I said you need to come to Las Cruces I said you really? will do so well here and he took me at my word so he's yeah. so, so he's coming up special he's gonna be touring a couple of other shows while he's here as well but he's gonna start out here so are you mm -hmm. saying that while we roam the earth and we find somebody we should bring ideas to you? Absolutely. Oh, you know, I mean, people wonder what the Arts Council does, right? And, and well, they're yeah. just a, a, a good central place for people to get organized. You know, artists, uh, I have friends who are artists, which is what people say yeah. when they're about to insult them. Um, <laughs> No. But, but very often, artists are disorganized. I mean, I think that's the beauty of being an artist because you're not necessarily focusing on organization, you're focusing on inspiration. Well, it's very unusual. Actually, uh, one of the, the artists that we showed there, Kathy Stark, she happens to, she really is very creative and she's very organized. It's an unusual combination. But uh, you're right, if we can help the artists display their work yes. and bring the people um, to, to see and buy, what we like to do with the Las Cruces Arts Fair is it's really two things. It's exposing the community to this wonderful level of, of art because mm -hmm. it is a juried art show and so not everybody who applies can get in. Uh, plus we, we choose only a certain number of people to be in certain right. categories. Wow. We don't want all jewelers no. or all painters. You have so, a good mix of people. Yeah. You know, we took a but few. the other thing is we really want to have a venue for our local artists. And I'm, when I say local, I really mean Southern New Mexico. We have mm, artists from uh, El Paso, from Alamogordo, Silver City, and of course Las Cruces, and a good representation. And it's, it's a way for them to expand their market as well. Well, that's good. And, and you do other things for artists over the year. You know, you have uh, those, what, last Friday of the month, you have uh, merchant it's marketing called, discussions? It, yes, it's called Promoting Art in Las Cruces. And it's, uh, we're, we've just moved it. We used to be meeting in the Rio Grande Theater Auditorium. We've moved it next door to the Main Street Bistro so we can have lunch and it's a little bit more relaxed. It's a lot easier to eat and it, talk it, yeah, at the same time. Yeah, eat and talk. And so every, the last Friday of every month, it's an art networking um, opportunity mm -hmm. and also it's we have speakers that come in and we talk about how artists can promote uh, their work which is in what Las you're trying to do promote the arts Absolutely. that's what, isn't that your like mission statement that's our mission to do that as, yeah. as well as not just visual arts but well visual, performing, but performing arts, arts and literary arts, arts which get the literary in there yeah. uh, I'm, I'm your literary I know artist. you're one of our <laughs> literary artists <laughs> That's why I'm here. And, and maybe video. We'll just well, do yeah. video art. That's yeah. Well, film. Done. Film as well. We're doing film. I was you just, did film. Yeah, I was just telling uh, Chris here, who, Suler. Suler, who is, is our host here for this uh, program, and I was just telling him how I want the Rio Grande Theater to be a home for independent uh, filmmakers and shows. And TV you have their meetings there, right? Yeah, well, so we, the, yeah, we have in the past. Film Las Cruces uh, yeah. has always been there. Now they're going to have their own place. Oh, over well, at the, They're going to be over fancy. in Pioneer Park. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're going to uh, take a break. And uh, when we come back, you'll still be here. I yes, hope. I will. You're this not is run. fun. And this then, is And fun. then we're going to taste these two yeah. on the rocks. We're going to compare uh, uh, ginger and ginger and lemongrass together. Okay. So we'll be right back after these words. Bye. Hi, I'm Cheryl Burke and I have a confession to make. I have a serious crush on my workout. Hip, fun, and always a challenge. Jazzercise is the total package. It's the only workout that I've ever truly loved. Does it show? That's because I'm in the best shape of my life. What a difference Jazzercise makes. When's the last time your workout swept you off your feet? Find a class near you at jazzercise.com. Fiesta Motors. Come and see us today and discover why our service is second to none. In business, for over 17 years, we have the right car for you. When you buy a vehicle from Fiesta Motors, we do everything possible to ensure your satisfaction. Located at the corner of El Paseo and Main, see you there. Celebrate Fiesta Motors. We're buying a car. It's always a celebration.
and we can only hope that we're back. We are Do you back. feel like we're back? Yes. We are now doing the Canton uh, on the rocks. On the because rocks. Because yeah. water changes things. You mm. usually put water in scotch to open it up. I like it better with the ice. I don't know why. Don't ask me oh, why. Yeah, it's smoother. It just it makes it a little smoother. I don't know. Just the combination of the ice, the cold. Well, you don't want to sit around drinking raw booze. You want wow, to Saturday like, mornings. This is this is a. I, I'm this gonna change one, my whole routine. Forget the exercising. I'm gonna, that's right, because alcohol <laughs> cleans your blood out of all those yucky things like blood. There you go. And puts alcohol Ooh, in your body. I like it. Yeah. Uh, this is a weird thing. It's made out of uh, rice. Mm. And it's lemongrass and ginger flavor. Oh, lemon and ginger. Lemongrass. Lemon you know, grass. that's one of those ingredients in uh, Thai food. If you go to Pho Saigon or Pho Adong, you'll get lemongrass in your Pho. But this has lemongrass and ginger? Oh, lemongrass ginger. It's a lemongrass ginger, ginger yeah. which is basically the... Distilled from rice. Flavors oh. of... Yeah, but they... Wow. Put this in. Okay, this is... What's it called? Kai? Oh, kai. 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 Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh, that's it's got some other, that lemongrass. Refreshing. Grass. It's very refreshing. But it's really got a very sharp, uh, yes. tangy yeah. uh, edge to it. I guess that's a lemongrass. It tastes a little lemongrassy. I, don't I love lemongrass. I don't taste the, lem the ginger not, at all. The ginger. I don't well, taste Well, there's the ginger. a ginger background, but. Wow. Wow. Well, I like them all. So how do you choose? You just kind of... Well, you do what I do. Keep drinking. <laughs> you just invite <laughs> another drinking. guest and you keep... <laughs> Today, in fact, I have a scotch tasting to go to. So mm. this is a good preparation. Wow, that's Today lovely. Today meaning Saturday. That's lovely. Today. You know, this is a really nice when you're, when you're stuck, uh, you're, you're, uh, you're going to a dinner party and they say, you have to bring dessert. I think I'm going to go... <laughs> I'm going to go with this. Um, I'm gonna, that's uh, I think perfect. this the, this would go over ice cream. I Oops. think it would be perfect. I think you know, any, any of them would be fine. People sometimes put like Tia Maria or yeah. uh, uh, the uh, Irish you know, mm -hmm. cream mm -hmm. over their ice cream. Yeah. You can put this over it. Oh, absolutely. Irish cream has yeah. less uh, alcohol. We're going to also hype your show okay. this week. Uh, the uh, uh, Arts Fair still there. Those of you who just turned in. Oh, uh, yes. The Las Cruces Arts Fair. There you go. There's if you car. see any of these around, you get a dollar off. Yep. On the back, you can come and pick one up at our offices at the second floor of the Rio Grande Theater. I'll put that right there. Yeah, so, put it against the, the St. Germain bottle. There you go. So uh, the Las Cruces Arts Fair this yes. weekend. Mm -hmm. and we're next gonna, weekend. Next weekend. Next weekend. Yeah. This weekend, we're doing the show here. That's right. Because if we, she was doing the show, she I wouldn't be, be able to be I here. I will be working next weekend at yes. the Las Cruces Convention Center. Yeah. We were, you know, some of the bigger things uh, in the news and uh, uh, I know I went to grad school at NMSU, mm -hmm. and you didn't have any kids that went there. Uh, my no. daughter went there for a year. Oh, my daughter it, went for, before she went up to St. John's. She went a year. Oh, she to, went for mm -hmm. the great books. She did. She studied great books. Well, there's some great books at NMSU. Yet they're talking about the uh, tuition hike, and the tuition oh, hike is yes. going to come because of uh, uh, our oil money is not coming in. Yes. And people have talked about, uh, had talked about doing a tax on gas, which we can no longer do because the legislature is out of session. But you know, we're paying such a cheap price for gas. If you go to the right places, yeah. that 10 cents a gallon, you, you wouldn't okay. know the difference. They pay 10 cents a gallon more, who knows well, where else in El Paso. Well, and I, and I think that the, the real cost has to be reflected because the, the cost of drilling, the cost of cleanup, all those things. We yes. cannot get used to lower prices. That's um, true. We, we have to, you know, pay for what we get. Right, People right. don't want to pay for what they get. And what you would get is your kids getting educated. And education is what uh, drives progress in the country. Yeah. So that's going to so be... Uh, it's we're not be, arguing about this. No, we're no, agreeing no, no, about not at this. all. We're just saying, I mean, in the tuition hike, I know people are going to object. Um, um, you can't get emotional about it. It's got to. It's got to be. Uh, they've got to balance their budget on a local level. Yes, and we're um, also pretty much the cheapest tuition okay. in America. I mean, I had students used to complain, but uh, it's it's nothing compared to probably Arizona. Uh, right. Maybe it's compared to Texas, but uh, California is way high. So we have that. We also have the real ID coming out. These are all the things that that popped out. Uh, uh, Susanna Martinez finally signed the Real ID into yes. place. And uh, when your driver's license runs out, I just checked mine, uh, 2021, so Ooh. I don't have to worry. Yeah. Gosh, 
But if yours uh, uh, runs out, you're going to have to have the real ID, which I believe comes with a fingerprint. Wow. So nobody could duplicate fingerprints. Well, I think it's a good thing. I think that, uh, I mean, do you think it's a good thing? Well, if, if you can allow, you know, having, the reason we had uh, undocumented uh, uh, immigrants having cards was so that we could keep track of them. I mean, if they had a car accident, right. we want to know where yeah, to get we them. we want them out of the shadows. Yeah, um, they're here. Right. I mean, we, that, it's a larger problem. It's a problem of immigrants. Okay. And uh, obviously, you haven't been watching the Republican debates. You Actually, have been. I, I ha I've, been I've been a I've been a debate junkie. I've been they're watching exciting. them all. They're exciting. Well, they're 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 exciting, and I've actually learned a lot. I've, I've learned a lot about the issues um, and how people treat each other. Well, that's, that's a personality yeah. thing. Well, that, that's, that's good that's too. That's crazy. Um, um, I I'm I mean I don't know. You've got a lot of things to talk about here, but that well, just the linger. whole the whole political. Uh, arena and it reminds me i mean last night's debate uh, not last night it was thursday it was on night. thursday night yes uh, that debate was more civil and yet i don't know what the manipulative strategy is i i, I feel like uh, to manipulate them to be more well, civil you know, well they had more male uh, commentators. I think maybe. females seem to antagonize these guys. I you know, guess. they just become yeah. tigers and yeah. uh, maybe yeah. show-offs. Uh, there was one woman who was a commentator. But you know, I really feel like these debates, if people do tune in and you listen to them, you, you, my, my husband was saying, oh, we've heard this before, why do we have it? Well, we have, it's a different but way. But it's, you know, you, 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 you hear it and you, you get educated on what the issues are out there and the approaches to them. I, um, for the most part, you know, when the, when it's not political season, a lot of this Nobody stuff just cares. yeah, a lot of it's it's in the newspapers, but you don't read. You don't well, get one the of the in biggest depth. problems is going to be getting voters out, right. and uh, uh, I'm sure a lot of people don't listen to the debates, but uh, those of us who listen whenever we can, uh, we're concerned. We're going to vote. I mean, you should plan on voting, and if you plan on voting, you should plan on listening to what people have to say and not just say, oh, Trump did this, I love him because he said this. One thing does not a person make. No, not a And, and no, also with him, he's gonna change his opinion. Not that I'm against. Well, well it, 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 you know. He changes it's, colors, it's, they it's, all change it's colors. It's reality. Um, it, 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 when, when the reality of having to compromise, not just make a deal, but compromise, is the is the name of the game. Yes. Then, even, even when you make a deal, right, you're a compromise. Right. That's what making a deal is. Right, you come right. to a thing. So uh, one thing, I, I think we discussed this last week when you weren't here, mm -hmm. but David Gutierrez uh, finally has been uh, charged with felonies. And I know you haven't been following this, but apparently he offered a coworker a thousand dollars to sleep wow. with him. Wow. You work with a lot of people, right? Yes. Would you offer a coworker to uh, sleep <laughs> oh, with him? Oh, goodness. Absolutely not. Would you offer them a thousand dollars? How much would you offer them? Please. What please, is the please. what's the round figure of what people are supposed to? I don't know what the you know I don't I haven't worked in an well, office just, for a long just, time, so I don't know what yeah, the proper I mean, amount. You know, it, it's um, the relationship of, of coworkers is you, know, you, you, you spend more time with your coworkers oh, than you do with your family. You do. Um, you probably hate your family well, more. Well, you know, um, and um, but it's it's uh, it's. It's one of, uh, hopefully, it's, it's one of, of, of friendship and, and right, respect. respect. And, and it's an interpersonal thing that you would have with well, anybody. Right, and this sounds more like, unfortunately, I, I haven't followed it, but just the, what I've heard about it sounds more like something of, of intimidation, somebody mm. who is, who is um, in charge and um, who is, um, is intimidating somebody who is a, a, a lower and, and rank. Well, and, what they're saying now is he, he's 61. He could have retired when they asked him to retire. He didn't retire. He's got a couple of felony charges. Well, if he gets hit with felony terrible. charges, he doesn't get his uh, his retirement. Well, so there you very, go. Very bad you have mistake. to be strategic in that. Uh, the other thing that's happening, we'll change right to that. Uh, Kmart on El Paseo is getting turned into the Mesilla Park Community Church. That's a large space. It is. Man. It's a that's, large space, and it's a very large church. I think they have 1,200. Uh, yeah, 1,200 regular. And they have a couple of services every that's Sunday. A lot. Yeah. It, it really is. Yeah. And and we're rushing through. Okay. As you know. Okay. Uh, the uh, 
the uh, community theater, which we both hold near and dear to our hearts. Absolutely. You, you run uh, the Rio Grande Theater. Right. But every theater in town, including the Black Box, we all work together with ASTC. And uh, Rio Grande Theater is up for sale. No, no, the Las Cruces Community Theater. Las Cruces Community Theater. Community is, theater. I'm looking at the LCCT. <laughs> Las Cruces Community Theater, I should have been able to figure out that's not an R. Um, <laughs> They need money, so those of you, if we can get only a hundred people to send in a thousand dollars, our their problems will be solved. Wow. Don't you think? Wouldn't that be simple? Don't you yeah. think? Yeah. At least a hundred people could you know, well, spare it's, a thousand. It's, it's a it's a great community theater. It's a great group of people, and just keeping the theater downtown is is. It's and it's essential. got a different structure than your theater. Totally. Absolutely, it's absolutely. Totally. It's all volunteer staff, and they really focus on drama, where we do all performance. Right, and you bring yeah. people in, but they use their place to rehearse. Yes. We have to sum up. We will tell you quickly the uh, uh, plays, speaking of plays, that are on this uh, week. Uh, the Birthday Party uh, is still at the Black Box. Uh, Karen Crow directed it. Harold Pinter wrote it. He's dead. Uh, I Custer by Neil Edelman who used to be at NMSU, he's a Mark Medoff student. Uh, they're playing that at the LCCT, which we formally mentioned. You have, what, tonight or tomorrow? No, yes, on Sunday. Yes. Um, uh, Sunday, tonight actually we're going to have the We Are One Dance and Drum, which is uh, Karuna Warren and his group, um, right. Terry Alvarez and Susan Jewell. So dancing. There are 15 dancers on stage with drumming. It's fantastic. It's going to be at so 7 o'clock on Saturday. And then on Sunday, uh, the um, our partners... Svetlana Smolina. Svetlana Smolina. She's a Russian pianist. And, and she is going to be there at 3 o'clock on Sunday. So this is good. Our, our good friends, the Las Cruces Civic Concert Association. Cool. They're putting that on. That's good. And I believe the In the Time of Butterflies is still playing at, the, at ASTC at the university. Those shows are at 7.30. Oh, that's the dancers and stuff. Oh, there you and go. I think it's it's time for us to end the show. Oh my we're goodness, gonna, it's been so much wrap fun. It oh, we want yeah. to talk about uh, Kaylee, for, Callie from oh. the old Mesan de Mesilla, which just turned into the New Mexico, well, Grill and Bar. They call it Grill and Bar. Grill and Bar. We're okay. just wondering, uh, they're going to franchise it uh, at some point, uh, if she's going to sing it, all the franchises. We will discuss that next week when you come back to watch Double Talk. Thank you, Kathleen. Oh, thank you, It was Michael. a pleasure. We'll finish off these boozes. Oh, goodness. Okay? I won't see you till Tuesday. I'm driving. <laughs> no, I'm not driving. We have our chauffeur here. Don't worry about that. See you later. Cheers. Bye. That's fun. Oh, I forgot to mention this. I was going to, I was going to, I was going to. Say it. Oh, say it. I was going to mention here, there's an article in last uh, Sunday's paper about how to pair wine with your favorite Girl Scout cookies. I'm challenging Michael. Oh, great. I'm challenging Michael to bring the Girl Scout cookies next time I will, and, their, and uh, some favorite I will wines. do that. I'll bring all, all my Girl Scout cookies. how to pair our Girl Scout cookies I, with I wine. think so. Here, I'll, I'll give Girl this Scouts. to you.